Hello and welcome back. If you're new, hello, welcome, feel free to subscribe. Today is part two of the decluttering process. Well, decluttering my makeup. I'm, I'm tapping the drawers behind me. That's where my makeup lives. So today is about the lipsticks or lip products and foundation slash base products. So that includes concealers and all that kind of jazz. So let's start with lipsticks. I sort of thought this would be a good one to group together because you know expiry dates are sort of the same and creamy products and I don't know it made perfect sense in my head but yes we're going to start with the lipsticks and the lip glosses and those lip products now with lip gloss you've got about six months with lipstick you've got about no with lip gloss you've got about a year and with lipstick you've got about two years I for one definitely have lipsticks that are older than two years so we're going to start from where we should always start and that is taking everything out of the drawers. Step one, take everything out, put it all out. I can guarantee you within you know a few moments of you scanning over your collection of lipsticks and lip products you definitely will spot products that are beyond their one year or two years. I know for a fact, I know which lip products I have that are beyond their best. However, I will keep lip products if the smell is okay and there's no the the consistency of the product hasn't changed so if it's still fine I'm generally happy and as long as it's still applying in the same fashion so if it looks good it feels good on the lips it doesn't smell funny it doesn't cause any irritation that product should generally still be okay I'm testing out some of the products that are slightly older at the minute like this lip product this one of the apocalypse and it's definitely coming up to being past its best but it's fine it applied really well and it's staying there and it looks good so I'm happy so have a good look at your products which ones are definitely past their best and if you have concerns about anything as with anything swatch it test it out find out so get rid of the stuff immediately that is out of date I definitely found some lip glosses that have congealed on one side and all sorts of nasty business so they have been binned they're gone I then got to swatching with everything that was left, not just the odd wee bits that I'm interested in. No, 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 I swatched it all. And I'm really delighted to say that I only found one or two dupes. I didn't find loads of copies. I'm pretty good with my lipsticks. I know what colors I have, which I don't have. In the last year, I've actually started to underbuy lip products because I think I already own it and then I get home and I don't own it. So that's also a problem. But I'm generally pretty good at knowing what I have in my stash and not duplicating the lipstick. I did pick out a few lip products that I didn't really enjoy the finish of anymore or I don't think it suited me particularly well or I had nudes that I kept thinking I would always wear them but they don't suit me they don't do anything for me so I would just get rid of them um, I do have quite a few nudes that do work well for me they're more pinky toned and wee bit like that and they suit my face really well I also have loads of vibrant colors I also have quite a collection of red lipsticks who knew so swatched them all and I did get rid of a handful of products, mostly things that had gone funny or that just didn't suit me anymore or that never really suited me, but I convinced myself otherwise. So that was quite satisfactory. I checked the dates, uh, or I took everything out of the drawer, checked the dates, swatched my entire arm. I, I was definitely stained from the lipstick swatches, the lip product swatches. Um, and anything that was like the two dupes that I had, I got rid of the other one so I would keep one and get rid of the other one keep my favorite get rid of that one so get rid of your dupes and get rid of anything that you know you keep for possibly wearing and you haven't worn it in the last few months you're not going to wear it if there's still life in the product sanitize it where possible like with lip, liquid lipsticks etc you can't really do that but with normal lipsticks you can sanitize them and you can give them to somebody else so get on and do that with your lipsticks. I'm really pleased with my lipstick stash now that I've culled it right down. Everything fits in levelly in the little boxes that I have. Before there was a nice pile high. Um, now there's like, it's nice and level. Everything fits. It's really very satisfying. So a lot of that. I got rid of some products as well that I kept and the consistency was funny even when I bought it. Um, Sexy Mother Pucker. I really liked the look of that on my lips and stuff, but I think the sticky was, stickiness was too much for me and the hair in the face and stuff like that wasn't the biggest fan. So get rid of things that you're not really the biggest fan of and you keep just because you want to keep them. Have a good clear out. So first couple of points covered initially. Take it out, check your sell-by um, and test, swatch everything, test it all out and get rid of anything that's funny or duplicated or anything like that. 
So that was lips done, really rather cathartic getting rid of all that and swatching everything. I haven't swatched everything in ages. It was so nice to do that to my lip products and see what I had and remember some absolute gems. Now we're on to foundation. I find foundation and my foundation slash base drawer harder to clean up because I'm like, they last forever. It's fine. They really don't. Most foundations last a year, if you're lucky. So, <laughs> Yeah, that required some thought. I went in and had a good old nose um, and took everything out, as you do, and discovered there are products that I had kept that I really just didn't enjoy. Um, like the Benefit BB cream, whatever it was called. I kept that and it would work once, it worked well for me once or twice, I think. And then any other time, it just never sat right. It sunk into my pores or it looked really obvious on my face. I have no idea why I kept it. Maybe I was trying to do a comparison with something or maybe I was like, maybe I'll try that with a different primer. It might work well with something else and just never got around to it. That needs to go in the bin. That's gone. Um, also, I had products that I did really like, but the color was slightly off. Um, like the Gosh foundation drops. I really like that, but the color was slightly off. I really like the foundation though, it's quite nice. Um, and I also had to get rid of like my MAC face and body. I had all these bottles from whenever I was doing some makeup artist stuff and I was working on other people. And I would need the various shades so I could mix and match to get their right shade range. I have loads of them I just had to get rid of. I showed you one. I had a few more I had to get rid of because I've not used them in ages. And they're definitely, they're now at their best basically. They should be gone. So I had to clear those out. I also got rid of a Revolution palette again that I was using as part of my whole makeup artist stuff and I never used it otherwise and I actually wasn't that big of a fan of it to be fair. Um, what else? I got rid of powders that didn't work for me like setting powders that I kept for unknown reasons that I was like I'll finish that off one day. No, no I'm not going to. I don't particularly enjoy it and I know I really worked really hard to get it down to pan but I don't enjoy it. Why am I using it? That needs to go. So got rid of some of that stuff, got rid of um, eyebrow products that didn't work for me and everything that lives in that drawer. We have concealers, primers, got rid of some eyebrow or eyelid primers that I'd used up or was not going to use. Um, what else? Setting powders, eyebrow stuff. I got rid of stuff that just didn't work anymore. So you have to be sensible and you have to apply a bit of common sense. Are you keeping things that are almost right, but then when you do wear them, that you're not entirely confident in it and it looks a bit funny, so you feel a bit odd when you're wearing it. Like wearing the wrong eyebrow color. I can be really annoyed about that on an entire day just because I'd be like, my eyebrows look funny. And it'll be on my head the entire day. So get rid of products, um, foundations and eyebrow stuff in particular, if the color doesn't match you and you're not about to go on a holiday to change the situation or it's not gonna change anytime soon, get rid of it. You don't need it, it's just cluttering up your life. Now obviously, if you do definitely switch between your soft tanner color and your normal color, you keep your products. But if you don't self tan, and like me, you're pale and pasty and you kinda of stay that way, no matter the weather, um, there's no point. There's no point. There's going to be a slight shade variation, but not a whole pile. So that was it for the lipsticks and for the foundations. I put everything back in. Foundation drawer slash base drawer was also incredi incredibly satisfying to put back in because everything fitted in the boxes. So it's the same with the lip drawer. I had stuff flailing about in the lip drawer that didn't fit in a box. Now everything was back in the box. It was really nice. And everything was back in my foundation box. That was really nice. I reorganized it a bit so it worked a bit better and I just, I am a lot happier with it. I am a lot, lot happier. Yeah, that's the, the two drawers that I'm gonna do today. So the next part is going to be accessories, etc. So I have a whole heap of makeup brushes. I have lip liners, eyeliners, and mascaras that live on top of this dresser that I have. I also have a box of nail polish. The box is about this big, but that way, I bet that do. I have a lot of nail polish, so I need to throw those out too. So that'll be in the next part. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you're decluttering, let me know down below. I loved seeing the messages from people saying, this has inspired me to declutter. Do it people, it makes you feel wonderful. It's really cathartic and it feels absolutely amazing to be like, I know what I have, I know what makeup I have. I'm gonna do something different with my face. Yep. It's exactly what it does for me. 
Anyway, I'm gonna shoot away on. Thanks a million for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell all your friends. And I will see you in the next video.